Cadiz Incorporated has an excuse for its proposal of pumping unsustainable amounts of water from the eastern Mojave Desert has claimed a public relations conservation need to pump the water to keep it from evaporating. This is a ridiculous smokescreen that has no merit. This is not a conservation project as Cadiz claims because if you follow the proposed use of the pumped water you will find that this is a wasteful and shameful use of precious desert water. Hello, my name is Ted and I will be your host on this mini documentary water tour that is being presented by the Newberry Springs Community Alliance. First, it is important to understand that the entire Cadiz project is nothing more than a corporate water grab that is based upon a foundation of slick double talk, lies and irrationality created by Cadiz Inc to create disinformation and to acquire public support for the acquisition of mandatory permits. On rare occasions of heavy desert rain, water does flow above the ground into dry lake beds where portions of the water does evaporate before it can percolate into the soil. But this evaporation is Mother Nature at her best, as the evaporated moisture is critical for the desert's ecosystem. A small amount of water flowing underground does reach the dry lake beds and the water is close enough to the surface to sweat and leave valuable salt deposits. To prevent this limited water from evaporating, Cadiz is claiming for conservation a need to pump out huge amounts of water, many times that of the alleged evaporation, from as deep as 1,000 feet below the surface and many miles away from the dry lake beds. 1,000 foot deep wells are only necessary to pump out 1,000 feet of water, a depth far beyond anything that is necessary for what Cadiz is claiming as their excuse for conservation. One layer of the extreme misrepresentations lies in the fact that many of the proposed pumping wells are not even upon the same aquifer as the dry lake beds, but lie upon the adjacent Fenner aquifer. Even the Cadiz Water Company is called the Fenner Valley Mutual Water Company. There is a gap between the aquifers. Some Fenner aquifers water does flow underground from Fenner into the Cadiz aquifer with the dry lake beds, but the estimated amount of water annually that transfers this gap is only about that which Cadiz Inc. is currently pumping out of the ground for its own farming operation. Now think about the items just discussed. None of Cadiz conservation claims makes any sense because none of it is logical or true. The whole Cadiz conservation scenario is a complete sham. Cadiz will be doing the opposite of conserving water. Taking desert water pumped from the ground and placing the water into open aqueducts and open reservoirs only exposes the water to a much higher rate of evaporation. And remember, Cadiz's whole pretext is to capture water before it evaporates. Cadiz's propaganda that emphasizes such green buzzwords as conservation, recovery, and storage is only a slick snake oil sales pitch that has suckered those naive enough to have fallen to Cadiz's greedy misrepresentations. Now before we start a short water tour here, it is important to understand what the pumped out transferred water is leaving behind. In the harsh climate of the Mojave Desert is an ecosystem of billions of small insects, small and big creatures like bighorn sheep, and plant life that is dependent upon the fragile balance of the local desert water and its dew moisture to survive. Even by lowering the groundwater table by a few feet, whereby plant root systems cannot reach the moisture, and causing the springs and seeps to dry up will mean a slow and an agonizing death and possibly extinction for many of the land native animals and plants. Our short water tour starts with the city of Rancho Santa Margarita, where Cadiz's lead EIR water agency, the Santa Margarita Water District, is located. This is in a semi-arid area of southeast Orange County where developers have taken the arid land and have built entire communities of lush, green, park-like settings, ignoring the use of native plants. High water use trees and vegetation have been planted throughout the planned communities, 
like a dense forest. Large, scenic, recreational lakes dot the landscape of Rancho Santa Margarita and the neighboring communities where the Santa Margarita Water District sells its water to. This lake, over 11 acres, is reported to be 8 feet deep. According to PBS KCET-TV in Los Angeles, each year about 40% of the water in this lake evaporates and needs to be replaced. This evaporation of water isn't discussed by Cadiz Inc. in its cry for water capture before it can evaporate, nor are the many other private lakes, golf courses, and water landscapes at private clubs that dot the area. Private beach clubs within these inland communities are popular. Despite being less than a half hour away from the Pacific Ocean, why drive when you can import a freshwater beach to you? After all, the water at a real beach is salty, and you must share the public beach with people who are not your neighbors. Your private beach also has clean imported sand. And these fenced off private beaches do vary in size, but most are large enough to handle many hundreds of swimmers. Just one more example of the many man-made lakes that the Santa Margarita Water District supplies its water to is Lake Mission Viejo. This is another private lake, and it makes the last lake look like a small puddle. This lake is also totally man-made. This lake has multiple beaches of imported sand. Lots surrounding three sides of the lake are terraced to offer views, so that its private members will not come into contact with any contaminants this lake does not accept any natural runoff water. It is maintained with only fresh water piped in from aqueducts and a ground well. Substantial sized sailboats cruise this lake and it is regularly stocked with freshwater fish. With about 40% of the previous lake's water needing to be replaced each year due to evaporation, how many gallons of replenishment would this lake require? The massive exposed water area of this lake doesn't even begin to cover the exposed area of all the swimming pools that the Cadiz project is proposing to pump water to. Again, if conservation of water is a concern of Cadiz Inc., why is Cadiz planning to remove and sell the precious underground desert water that is required for the maintenance of an entire desert ecosystem to customers who have demonstrated such an arrogance and a total lack of concern for water conservation. Despite a lack of natural water, the arid landscape of southeastern Orange County is continuing to be cut by hundreds of acres for new developments. The service area of Santa Margarita Water District currently has over 15,000 new homes and businesses currently in active planning with lush green settings. With one non-sustainable, water-wasting, lush community after another being built, the Santa Margarita Water District has long ago had to start importing huge amounts of aqueduct water. Water conservation has not been meaningfully practiced, as there hasn't been the leadership, nor a forced need to live within the local resources. Water conservation is highly wasteful and is totally out of control within the Santa Margarita Water District. Living in the same county and only a few miles from Disneyland, the residents seem to feel that they live in a fantasy land. They have failed to come to grip with the naturally arid land where they have chosen to live. In an arrogant manner, Southeast Orange County is now trying to maintain its opulent and non-sustainable lifestyle for another 35 to 50 years by depleting another region's aquifer for its own further non-sustainable expansion. Why should other aquifers and regional ecosystems be ruined for only 35 to 50 years of Orange County's uncontrolled growth? Orange County needs to set water conservation measures into practice as the desert communities already have and to limit its development expansion to that which it can support itself. It is not that Orange County doesn't have access to water, for it is bordered by the Pacific Ocean. For the development 
of desalinization plants. The Cadiz Water Project is not about conservation. It is about selling water for profit to encourage new Orange County developments to greatly increase the current gridlock congestion and to further reduce Orange County's lifestyle of the current residents. The president of Cadiz Inc., Scott Slater, says the project is new and innovative. Well, even with all of his pretty perfume words, this project isn't new, nor is it innovative. It is yet only another common water theft by a greasy talking swindler. In America, no matter how humble one's home is, one's home is considered sacred. To some people, the desert is empty, but to others, the desert is their home, and it is full, and it must be defended. The Santa Margarita Water District and the people behind Cadiz Inc., who are investors from Europe and elsewhere, believe that they can profit by marauding and pillaging the precious water assets from the home of others. This is pure evil. You have just seen the selfish waste and the opiates for which the desert is supposed to give up its life for. <laughs>